In mid-September, all over the country, hundreds of students are beginning their first year at university. In this episode, we have come to Bristol University to see how students live and study by spending some time with a small apartment group to experience a day in the life. Oh, is it rolling now? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Simon and I'm a second year student here at Bristol University. Oh, so look over there? Okay. <clears throat> Um, I study theatre. How's that? Simon lives with four other people, some of which are friends he has made from his first year of study, and others who are in need of living arrangements. Well, yeah, we, uh, we, we had the extra rooms and uh, the others convinced me it was probably best to, you know, let them help out with, uh, with rent and... Uh, so um, we put out a little advert in the university newsletter, and we got we got two replies. So, yeah, well, it turns out no one no one reads the university newsletter. So this is this is my room where the where the magic happens. Uh, yeah, I just uh, chill in here, you know, watch some Netflix. I sometimes study, and uh, sometimes I uh, you know invite people up. <laughs> To, to play, to play video games, but um, actually now it's just Daryl, just Daryl playing video games. But uh, yeah, it's good. So uh, yeah, this is this is Daryl's room. Uh, the door is is closed quite a lot, so we tend to keep away from here to avoid any awkward situations. And uh, over here, this is uh, this is Stacy's room. I I tend to keep away from here a lot as well because uh, she she scares me. She really, really terrifies me, but, um, yes. Hello! How's it going? Hey, man, I'm so... alright? Yeah, not yeah. too bad, So, uh, too bad. I'm Harry. I'm a second year film student. I first met Simon through Daryl when we were doing a, uh, a film piece on African slavery in the 1700s. It was a bit like 12 Years a Slave. It was quite tasteful. So, what role did Simon play? A slave. You cooking something? Yeah. yeah, cooking a bit of lasagna if you fancy a bit later. Oh, might do, might do. Uh, what attempt is this? <laughs> Very funny. It's only my second. Harry thinks he has fantastic cooking skills. I have the strongest culinary abilities in the flat. The smoke alarm usually goes off about three times a day. See, I pride myself on being able to cook for the flat. I mean, Sometimes the lasagna comes out of the microwave a bit hard, but, you know, I always put it back in again. Well, uh, well I was thinking maybe we should all uh, have a quick meeting uh, about the flat social tonight before everyone, you know, heads off to whatever they're doing. Yeah, sure, just, just go around and ask them, innit? Right. Well, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, shit! Tonight, Simon and his fellow flatmates are planning to stage a gathering for all their theatre classmates to kickstart the beginning of a new year. Calvin, Calvin, we're we're gonna have a meeting about the about the flat social. It's happening now. If you wanna wanna come along, worth a shot, I suppose. What? Ah, hello. Um, yeah, we were thinking uh, we should probably have a meeting downstairs about the uh, about the flat social tonight. If you wanna wanna join us, we're, we're, we did we did tell you about that, right? Mm, nah. Yeah, I'm Stacy. I'm not gonna give myself an introduction. Is Harry gonna be there? Well, well it's it's our flat social, so. <sighs> Whatever. Just give me a minute. Morning, my man. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Um, we're having a meeting about the uh, flat social, the uh, thing. Yeah, 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 sure, wanna... yeah, just one second. Yeah. yeah, can you keep the bed warm for me? Cool. Yeah. My name's Daryl. I'm a theatre and film student, but uh, you might say I prefer the extracurricular activities. Are you busy last night? Yeah, or? yeah, she's a um, philosophy student. I am 
It was faster about morality and then it was just walking the park. How do you balance your social life with your studies? <laughs> it is difficult. It is. It's, it's difficult. Um, but that's where Harry and Simon come in, you know. Mm. I scratch their back, they scratch mine. You know, mm -hmm. they're, they're trying to get a date. And um, I'm kind of, you know, helping them out. Because I'm good at that, you know. Sorry, excuse me. Um, I just I just noticed you've got a. I mean, hang on, let me get it for you. Oh. Oh. oh sorry, I think it's an eye. Sorry. Yeah, it's an eyelash. Yeah. Oh, okay. How many people do you actually know who go to a social without any alcohol? I just think that's your opinion, to be honest. I mean, what's wrong with a bit of organised fun? I always have to clean it up after. Simon. Yeah? Yeah, I'm afraid I can't really come to any compromise on this one. I think Dow's probably actually right for once. See? It's like a student code. Wait, what do you mean, for once? Why'd you pause it for? Yeah, Harry, I need to get wasted, or otherwise I'm actually going to have to talk to drama people again. I remember last time when that happened, I punched a guy in the face because they wouldn't shut up about singing in the fucking rain. That was, that was me, Stacey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I've gained a bit of a reputation for myself in the geo sphere. Yeah, they call me the the devil bitch. Well, what about like a theme? Maybe we can have like a theme thing. Uh, uh, musicals or or Harry Potter. Oh or... yeah, Harry Potter out on the town. We'll have three bloody Gandalfs turn up. Oh, I've left my wand in Weatherspoons. Can we go back? Oh, just kill me now. You want to see my forbidden forest? Look, why can't we just make the flat look tidy? Stacy, you could clean the cupboards. And Simon, you could hoover up. Yeah, but being serious here for a moment, if we just get some alcohol, and some speakers, and some booze, be nice and simple. I don't know. I just don't. I'm just not sure it's enough. I... Relax, mate. It's enough. Stop bloody pausing it. Right. So um, Simon's got this crush on uh, a girl in my film group, Audrey, and um, she's. Really nice, you know. Um. <coughs> All right. I think Simon's quite an acquired taste of character. You know, when he has one of those days, he tends to, you know, go upstairs and uh, play some of his Spotify track list. On his magical mountain of emotion again, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I'd like to take this opportunity to cry. What can you expect? He's a theatre student. Whilst their minds are already occupied with the living arrangements and their social interests, students must also have to think about their studies and classes too. We were incredibly fortunate to receive exclusive access to all university buildings and faculties for this episode to give you an experience of your own of what university has to offer. The department yesterday is saying that we could film. Yeah. Just don't give me that shit. I'd have heard about it if you had. Owen? What? You did say we could film in here, didn't you? Um, no. Don't look at me. It's the end of a long day, and four of the flat members are at home preparing for their guests' arrival later tonight. I mean, honestly, mate, how many times do you see a 60th birthday on a banner? Oh, come on, I just think it livens up the room a it's little bit. It's not even anyone's birthday. Oh, come on, these are the only decorations I can bloody well find. It's all right, what's what? going on in here? Decorating for the social tonight. Tonight? Why did nobody tell me about this? I've got an essay due for next week and I need to get it done as soon as possible. To be honest, mate, we thought you left. Or died. 
Can you at least tell to keep it down? Oh yeah, sure we can, mate. Yeah, yeah, you socialise by talking. Oh, I'm going to be writing a letter to somebody about this. Look, we agreed that we would discuss this sort of thing as a flat. Oh, don't talk to me like that, buddy. Listen, Simon knocked on your door, but you weren't there, all right? So Hence. if we're going to decorate, we're going to decorate. Hence why we thought you died. Oh, who are they? I'm Calvin. I'm doing a master's in civil engineering. I just want to get a good education. I'm not fussed about being social. Once I'm secure and earning plenty, then I can relax and do what I want. And what's that? What? I don't know right now, but it'll be worth the wait, I'm sure. <sighs> oh, I don't understand. Did you do something wrong? What, what time did you tell them to come? I don't know, I put the exact time and precise location on the Facebook group. I even put a picture of a panda drinking Jack Daniels and everything. Guys, chill, it's gonna be fine. No one arrives on time for a party anyway. Really? Oh shit, that explains a lot. Would you arrive on time? I, I arrive early. Right, boys, if you uh, excuse me, I'm just going to go and start drinking my troubles away before I realise what a tragic life I live here with you guys. Daryl is right, and soon the guests begin to flood in. This is really exciting. I think this might be the most people we've ever had at our flat for something like this. Harold, Harold, what do we do? What do we see? What do I, what do, I do? Uh, remember the plan, Stan. Can you just remind me what was? Well, I'm gonna go in now. And then in five minutes, should we follow me? Okay. Listen, mate. Has it been in the kitchen for that bloody drink? Put it down. On that one, thanks. It's been, it's been Move on, Sandra. Oh, hi. Hi. You are right? Yeah, great to see you here. Thanks, yeah, it's not too shabby. Do you come here a lot? Only for the socials, really. And what about food? Do you like food? Well, I, I suppose I, I do cook for you, so... <laughs> you know. I love it. So, uh, what colour would you say this is? Um, I'd say that's... Brown, yeah. Me too. Yeah. It's so much more I don't know if it's like the alcohol talking, but it's like it's like we're connected. Is yeah. your name Google? What? Is it Google? Your name? No? no. It's just your everything I've been searching for. Stacey, I think you've had a bit too much to drink. Perhaps you should go and like lay down or something, all right? But why? And miss out on telling you that I like you? Which I do, by the way. And when I wake up in the morning, I, I won't be able to tell you how I feel because I'm the devil, bitch. You really feel that way? Yeah. I felt that way since I moved in, stupid. That's really sweet of you. Yeah, the thing is, I just think singing in the rain is just, it's just got some of the best tap dancing choreography I've ever seen. I mean, King Jelly is just the most amazing dancer. And I, I, oh, 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 I think that was my signal. Uh -huh. <sighs> Wish me luck. Oh. You need to spell me. Why? Well, just, just spell the word me. M-E? <laughs> Where's the D? There's no D in me. Not yet. It's good that one though, isn't it? You know, it's um, fluent and provocative. <laughs> hey, hey guys. Hiya. 
How's it going? <clears throat> Feel a lot better. Oh, that is absolutely <clears throat> phenomenal. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, so if my friend has been in the dick here, he, he's friend. just trying to help me out, so it's fine. He's just trying to, trying to be a good friend. Yeah. What did you do here? Man? Hey! Shut up! Okay. You wanna, you wanna see something really cool? See that table over there? Yep. I'm jumping over it. Simon, I don't think that's Shut fun. up! <laughs> Is he okay? I, I don't think he's moving. Yeah, I, I think he'd be fine when he sobers up. How are you doing, man? How are you feeling? Hello. How are you, how are you feeling? I feel like shit. Mm -hmm. I messed up bad, didn't I? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You've reached a new level of dumbass tonight. This is my one chance. I blew it. Yeah, you did. Why can't it be like in the movies? You know, the the romance, the passion, instant chemistry. Why why can't that be real? Because you're pushing for something which you just have to let happen. You know. Believe me when I say it. These things usually work out. You just said that for the camera, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. Hey, listen. Thanks a lot, man. I, I'm i lucky to have you. I, I really mean it. And thanks for making me look even more awesome tonight. <laughs> oh, whoa, Simon, look. That's crazy. It's so wrong, yet it, yet it works. <sighs> Holy shit. I never could have seen that coming. Makes so much sense now. But you see what I mean? These things usually work out. I've got to go do something. Wait here. This is a bit low light. <laughs> did you, you guys get all the footage you wanted? Yeah, we did. Hey, if you want, you can just start filming and just go and enjoy the food and drink if you want. Suit yourself. Hey, Calvin. How you doing? Uh, I'm alright, yeah. I was just wondering, uh, when's everyone going? Oh, no, don't worry. I'm sure everyone's probably going to be backing up soon. Oh, so. no, no. I, I actually wondered if I could get in at this, this time. If it's okay. I mean, if it's too late. Oh, no, of course. No, go for it, man. Cheers. Hey. Hey. May I join you? Yeah, yeah, sure. I uh, just wanted to say that you shouldn't feel embarrassed about what happened. Daryl explained it all to me. Right. And I wanted to say that what you did was actually kind of cute, so you shouldn't feel ashamed. Hmm. Maybe I should try harder next time. <laughs> <laughs> that I would love to see. Guess I'll see you on that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, see ya. Bye. What can I say? I'm just that good. It's the morning and the floor is recovering from the excitement of the night before. Where's Harry? I don't know and I don't care. Were there any other girls you got with last night? Um, after I passed out? No. No girls, anyway. Um, took my night off. Tell you what, I do know where Harry and Stacy are. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess we have an extra room spare. You know, things are starting to look up for us. I mean, I don't know about Calvin, because he, he disappeared again, but, uh... But as for me, 
Look at the camera this time. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> As for me, I'm singing a different tune. <laughs> And so here we reach the end of the episode. We've experienced merely a brief taster of the lives of university students, but for this flat, within the space of two days, much has changed. <laughs>